The Rolls-Royce Cullinan is a full-size ultra-luxury sport utility vehicle built in West Sussex, England, at the company's Goodwood plant in the UK. It was designed by Giles Taylor, now the Vice President of Design and Chief Creative Officer for the Chinese state-owned FAW Group's Hongqi brand. And, of course, just like the Phantom Limousine, it is also built on Rolls' architecture of luxury platform. The Cullinan was undoubtedly not the first arrival in the field of ultra-luxury super SU versus, and it's also not lacking in competition despite the niche's exclusivity, Bentley Bentayga, Aston Martin DBX, Lamborghini Urus, Toyota Century SUV, Ferrari Purosang, they all fight for the same throne. However, it's easy to say that it has become one of the most recognizable SUVs in the world, mainly thanks to the aftermarket world's many inputs that made sure to make it stand out in any crowd, good and bad. Alas, it was launched in 2018, and the 6.75-liter twin-turbo V12-equipped behemoth needs to be kept relevant against the abundance of new and refreshed rivals. No worries, the first 2025 or 2026 Cullinan prototypes have arrived on the street, and of course, the rumor mill is buzzing around them. As such, the imaginative realm of digital car content creators is also pitching in to lend a helping hand, much to the horror and dismay of some fans, probably. The good folks at Kalisa, along with their resident pixel master Nikita Twiko, aka Kelsonek on social media, have imagined the Cullinan facelift after the first spy photos with the fresh Rolls Royce hit the internet. According to the news outlet, the restyled crossover might arrive unlike most of its Rolls Royce peers, with significant design changes rather than a subtle restyle. As with most facelifts, the major updates revolve around the front fascia, where the hypothetical Cullinan refresh might premiere with an unusual design for Rolls-Royce but very common for the higher echelon of BMW models, split headlights in the same vein as the Spectre EV Grand Tour, as well as a highly modified lower bumper that feels completely awkward in its desire to look athletic. The rest of the body is mostly left unchanged, although we can easily expect a bunch of new and ritzy colors and some fresh alloy wheel options from Rolls-Royce. As for the rear, the spied prototypes featured a subtly tweaked plastic overlay at the bottom with larger exhaust trim pieces, and the CGI artist also implemented the translucent rear lights from the Spectre, just for good measure.